space event of the millennium is the International Space Station. It's being carried up piece by piece in the space shuttle. They're putting it together in orbit, and in the year 2002, it'll be complete. Part of their training's done here, in the habitation module. It's a life-size model of their living quarters. Yes, I'm sleeping on the wall, and I'm velcroed in so I don't float away. When you don't feel the pull of gravity, there's no up or down, or ceilings and floors. Most of the food on the space station is frozen. And like at home, we zap it with the microwave. Except this is a model and it doesn't work. Hi. Hi, Alicia. How are you doing today? Good. Well, what you pulled out of the freezer was broccoli. Ugh. And it's one of the most delicious items that we have today. <laughs> if you want to try some of the foods today, you are more than welcome. We have fish. Ugh, it kind of smells fishy. How about the macaroni and cheese? Yeah, sure, I'll try it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It's not that bad. To take a shower in space, astronauts use a sponge on a tube and smear it all over them. And without gravity in space, Alicia, the water doesn't fall to the bottom of the shower. It beads up on the astronaut's body. So they have to use this other device. And guess what this one is? Let me guess. It's a vacuum to suck up all the water. Exactly. <laughs> it's for water recycling. Squeaky clean. Even in the toilets, they use restraints to hold the astronauts in place. Actually, that's the most frequently asked question about living in space, is how do the astronauts go to the bathroom? And the answer from them is very, very carefully. Those restraints are a key part. They help keep a tight seal. And instead of using water to flush the toilet, they use air currents to dispose of you-know-what. And don't forget this for your own collection. Some privacy, please. 